They say it is not the destination, it is the journey, and in this thing, your journey will be an epic. I am the Gary Car Guy, and that is the 2022 song. Let's talk about it. Oh, before I start this, I'm giving a shout out to my boy Chris XR Media on Instagram because he did guess that I was going to make a video on the B-52 bomber. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and see it. It's something that I'm very passionate about aviation. Go check it out. But Chris, you got it right, baby. Shout out right here. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start the show. Like I said, your journeys will be epic. And this thing is a great journey. Where does journeys lie? Between the starting and the destination. And this thing does too. 2020 Tucson SEL. Yeah, I know. It's alphabet soup with a lot of the Hyundai's lineup. But this thing with that color brings a lot of light into your life and a lot of more features than most other manufacturers so let's go ahead and get started we might as well start where the car starts right right here underneath the hood you have the engine you have the transmission everything located under here guess what you have a hundred thousand miles or 10 years worth of coverage for the powertrain you have five years 60 bumper to bumper in case anything else goes a little funky and unlimited miles of roadside assistance miguel kia's warranty is like the same so who cares? People who appreciate the details care. And this thing is no exception. The Hyundai warranty is branded as America's best warranty and helping that, like I said, unlimited miles of roadside assistance. So let's say you happen to be Ubering in a Kia and you reach 60,000 in one mile, then you need a tow to a dealership because something went a little funky, you know, machines. Guess what? You're paying for your own Hyundai warranty though, unlimited miles for five years. So yeah, Uber drivers, you're sitting pretty with Hyundai. And sitting pretty, the Tucson STL does in spades. Look at these daytime running lights over the regular lights. These lights right here actually do light up and they look super nice. Another nice feature, the SEL. This is the first trim level to bring these style wheels, which do help. It sit a lot prettier and it is a little bit more distinguished. Coming over here to the back though, the SEL also does bring this dual chrome tip exhaust, which makes things look super nice. And it purrs. I know it's a pretty little kitty and this thing does evoke something primal in us and it is a proven fact. It was in my Hyundai certified training that these little wheel arches over here, they're inspired. I'm going to see if I can put overlay right here. These things were inspired by the power of the Jaguar about to leap onto its prey and these have the asymmetrical arches that make things look a little bit more bold, a little more powerful because guess what? It's the little things that count and that's why these things are so good. Not only Hyundai but the Tucson specifically. I think I've sold more Tucsons in the last three months than I've sold any other car because these things are slotted just right. Not just the outside, but the inside is beautiful. Let me show you. Now, walking into this beast, there are a few carryovers from the Value Edition, which is modeled below. This carried over is the electric seat. You also do have blind spot, lane keep assist, which is standard on package one, automatic headlights. As I sit here, you can see that they do say auto right there and push button start. Now, something that I love is that this has dual climate control. So that way I could be super cold on my side. My passenger could be super warm on their side and i think the funniest story i heard is that i actually had a client call it the marriage saver because him and his wife would always be fighting for control of the air conditioning so when he had that it alleviated so much frustration in his life so look at that honey's actually helping relationships yeah baby but miguel you're a dirty car salesman why should i believe anything you say you know what you don't have to believe me I'm telling you everything that I see from my own eyes, and yes, I am a salesperson, but go down to your local Hyundai dealership. Check out the Tucson SEL for yourself. Or if you live in Orlando or Tampa or Miami, I don't care. Come to Universal Hyundai here in Orlando. Ask for Miguel, your car guy, and I'll go ahead and get it done. I will custom tailor your own rock around to your needs so that way I can show you the best way on how to get this thing. And also the SEL, this package here, is the first package that brings the bigger engine. As opposed to the 2 liter that you get in the SC in the value edition, this brings a 2.4 liter bumping horsepower to 181 as opposed to 160. So it's a little bit more potent along with everything else that you get in this package. This is a great package, I'm telling you guys. Seriously, consider it. Now hopping in the back, as you can see, you've got a massive amount of space and beyond that, the SEL is the first trim level to bring air conditioning vents in the back seats as well as the USB. Air conditioning vents in the back seat are a godsend because if you know hot, you know hot. If you know humid, you know humid. But if you know hot and humid, me being a Florida native, it sucks. And it doesn't matter whether you just enjoy cool air conditioning, whether you have a brand new newborn baby, or whether you transport elderly people being your parents, being your relatives, being part of your job even. Air conditioning vents in the back help tremendously. 
tremendously. It's a godsend. It really is. And sticking with the backseat motif, I figured I'd go ahead and show you and tell you how much more room there is in this than the Kona. It is substantial. You sit up higher, you have more room. And I know right now I'm just kind of just chilling with the door open, but watch. Even if I had a taller driver, I would still be sitting back here with a lot more room than what the Kona has because go figure, it's a bigger car. And now that I'm back here, it's like the doors are contoured as you can see. But it feels a lot wider. It's almost almost like a flat panel. A lot of other SUVs in the market kind of intrude into the interior space. So whether you're taller or just have a wider base, it's not that comfortable. This thing is super, super nice. Now, let's say I'm my chauffeur. I have to go ahead and tell him we're going across town, but I want a little bit of a power nap, a little bit more rejuvenation to help with these little wrinkles right here. I don't care what you say. I don't like it, but let's go ahead and say that I'm going to go ahead and get a little power nap in. Both seats actually go ahead and recline. You see the difference right here? And now... With my entrepreneurial life, I'll be able to go ahead and recharge for my next power meeting and ah, feeling good. You know what? That deserves a second snap. Now, talking about backs, look at this thing. This thing is cavernous. Hello, hello. I'm, I'm doing the echo. I'm sorry. I'm doing the echo. But this thing is massive. You could probably fit a washer and dryer in here in the box. That's kind of crazy. And just like in the Kona video that I did, down here, one-handed, if you need a little bit more extra room, you could actually go ahead drop that down and you gain another three inches you see the differences right here now you can see that part that is huge guys that is massive in there on a day-to-day -day level unless you need a lot of space for a pickup truck you will have the space that you need in this thing because this thing this thing's for real guys oh and by the way yes you do have a spare tire in there unlike the teslas the teslas are nice i would own myself personally if they gave one to me for free you know so tesla shout out give, go ahead and give me free tesla but you do have a spare tire in this coupled with the roadside assistance I talked about earlier you're good long road trips short road trips you are covered and guys i really have to insist if you're looking for a small suv the tucson deserves a place on your list even if it's just to benchmark another competitor do it for real, because all the things that I told you, I didn't even scratch the surface of. As is tradition, I leave out things on purpose so that way I have something to talk about when you show up and ask me, what else is on this? Because again, you have blue link standard on this car. You have a combined 25 miles per gallon city and highway and something else that I really, really do like. Look at the daytime running lights on this triangular thing. It sets it off very nicely and beyond that, it actually does help with insurance. But guys, that has been my time. I can't handle any more. But if you want to see a lot more of me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now, Miguel My Car Guy here on YouTube or follow me on Instagram at Miguel My Car Guy and I will see you soon. So annoying. That's why I do it on Sundays because nobody's here. But apparently there's people here messing up my video. This thing is either not that proper personal demonstration because here at Universal, it's how they treat us. Teach us. Teach us. I treat us. They treat us nice here. Very nice. Kia's warranty is five years, 60,000 miles for the 